Hey guys, what's going on? Shaw here, and today we are going to be taking a look at holy shit script error. We're going to be taking a look at the Guardian Jord on PTR and kind of walking through the changes that Blizzard posted and that's happening in this next mini patch and just walk through like my general thoughts on the tree because I've talked about this in a previous video and before it was more of just like the new layouts, but I didn't really talk about some of the things that were changing behind the scenes or in the notes or how I really feel about some of these new builds because at the time of my last video, PTR wasn't, the realms weren't active yet and I don't know how long they've been active for, but this is the first time I'm really getting on them and actually testing this out. Unfortunately, I'm getting a lot of like weird script errors. I've tried figuring out ways to not have those happen, but I'm getting a ton of like Lua errors and like this stuff is popping up if you can see. So if you know how to fix that, let me know so I don't fucking lose my mind over this. Let's take a look at the actual changes here on Wowhead. So we'll walk through this, then I'll walk through the tree, and this is going to be kind of off the script, just rant type video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first things first, um, we're seeing a lot of changes for a lot of classes and stuff in this patch. But for the druid specifically, let's start with the class and then we'll start, then we'll shift over to the spec. But all druids now learn swipe at tens, which is now baseline. They're making swipe and brutal slash damage, um, have 50% reduced damage. And then later down here, you're seeing improved swipe in the talent tree node or the talent tree choice is now going to increase the damage by 100%. So basically they're nerfing it, they're cutting it in half and then they're doubling it, which is basically a long way of saying the talent point is still the same, just worded differently. The best thing that happened to the Guardian Druid specifically is probably the reduced node for Killer Instinct and Nurturing Instinct, because what this means is that we're going to get one free point to put elsewhere, whether that's like mobility or utility or damage, which is good. We're getting a new talent called Frostwalker. We're getting some improvements on the Typhoon, either a radius increase with range increase or a um, reduced cooldown, which is also fine. I think it's like, what, 30 seconds anyway, so 25 seconds, it doesn't really matter. Displacements and keys are weird because don't normally need to hit it on cooldown, and like there's never a time where it's like, oh man, I really wish Typhoon was back off of cooldown right now. Uh, they added some connections for Rake and Rip. This is mostly for Feral, I feel like. Feral are like Resto Druids who want a Kitty Weave, but I heard that the Resto Druid tree is actually worse, but this won't really affect Bear too much in Mythic+. Plus. We also have a new connection from Skullbash to Primal Fury and Matted Fur, which is fine, but more than likely we'll be playing down like thick hide anyways to get to matted fur they also added a new connection between verdant heart and iron fur which is fine um doesn't really change anything and then they shifted around like wild growth and stuff so mostly they shifted around to try to create a better quality of life uh general design for the tree which i mostly agree with i think for bear it's really good i think for some other specs it might not be that great but we'll get into that in a second and then when it comes to the Guardian Druid tree specifically, their big thing was like, hey, we redesigned the tree. First, the biggest thing for us is that Ursine Adept is now baseline, meaning that we're going to get one extra point to spend somewhere in the tree at some point. Uh, this was a massive change. I'm glad they made this. This means that we can now use Innervate in bear form. Huge. Uh, they moved like front of the pack up, they moved Flashing Claws down, and then they added a bunch of new talents, which we'll cover actually in the tree. And then they shifted around some of the other talents towards the bottom, like Pulverize, Blood Frenzy, and Twin Moonfire. Um, and then they changed icons. So the tree is going to look a lot different, but it's really not that different if you kind of get, if you catch my drift. But let's jump over to the PTR. So really quick, big apologies on this random errors that are going to pop up. Sorry if it annoys you. I'll try to zoom in so it's not showing them, but more than likely you're going to see these error messages pop up like that. Yeah, that's fun. So if we take a gander at the class tree, what our builds are probably going to look like, not necessarily, but you're still going to play this area of the tree the same, but now you can connect this here. So if you, for some reason, don't want to play Killer Instinct, you don't have to, but I recommend doing it because that's the only way to get to Skull Bash. But instead of having only one point to spend now, we now have two, so we can go Starfire and then Sunfire, or... You can play like Rejuvent to Swiftman, which will give you access to Remove Corruption. My one thing about this is I wish they added a connecting node from Sunfire to Remove Corruption. That would make it a little bit easier, so then you can actually play whichever affinity you want. But we're going to play Bounce Finney because I want to get to Astral Influence, and I kind of want to get to Typhoon. So at this point, we can grab Skull Bash, we can grab Thick Hide, and then we can grab Matted Fur like usual. Again, they added this connecting node here, uh, but Primal Fury is kind of useless for Bear in at least Mythic Plus, and... You already were able to get to Matted Fur from Thick Hide, so this doesn't really change anything for the Guardian Druid. But we now have Soothe, Stampeding Roar, 
and then the rest of our six points can be put into this affinity side. Now, while we do have to still take Sunfire, we no longer have to take Star Surge, which is super, super nice for the bear because taking having to take Starfire originally and then su uh, Star Surge originally and then Sunfire later down the tree just felt like fucking garbage. <laughs> I just the best way I can say it. So we're going to take Moon Conform followed by Double Astral Influence. And then if you want the Sunfire Cleave, you can, but shifting in keys is always really weird. So we're going to go Typhoon into Incessant Tempest. Now at this point, again, we have one more point to spend, which we didn't have before. So we can either put that into Nurturing Instinct for damage and healing. We can put that into Hibernate for CC. We can put that into Wild Charge for mobility. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You could also get Rejuve if you really want, but well, in this case, let's go into Wild Charge just for fun. Now, the bottom of the tree is going to look exactly the same for the most part outside of this new Forest Walker talent. This can have a lot of synergy if you're playing Dream of Scenarius over in the Spectre, but that's up to you if you end up playing with Dream of Scenarius. But it's just increased movement speed. This might help with kiting. It also increases the healing you receive for a few seconds. At two points, it'll be six seconds of increased healing by 5%. At one, it'll be just three seconds of increased healing. So you can easily like get a regrowth on yourself followed by a frenzied regen or vice versa or just like if you're if you're low on health it's gonna have like a mini frenzied regen effect because while frenzied regen is active you receive increased healing uh through verdant heart and we're gonna just go back into triple lakaras i wish they made lakaras too but i also understand why they didn't make it too but lakaras teaching being a three point node still feels kind of disgusting uh but we'll play renewal and then let's grab like our CC. So let's grab Incap, we'll grab Double Well Honed. And then we can grab like Ursals with Typhoon. This gives us like a mini mass grip. We can grab Innervate, which we can now use in bear form. And then we can grab like Nature's Vigil, for example. Now, Nature's Vigil will only be good if you can also do a ton of single target damage. Now, through some of the testing, I don't think Thorns of Iron will count as single target damage, unfortunately. But obviously, like Moonfire still does. So if you're playing a Glotty Guardian build, you can easily play into nature's vigil if you're playing the left side of the tree and you're playing like dream of scenarius you can honestly grab protector of the pack protector of the pack is great um if you're not playing either and you're playing more of an incarn build in the center of the tree all the capstones kind of suck so you might like play nurturing or you maybe can like drop all three capstones plus innervate and you can grab like rejuve swift mend and like remove corruption so you can get that decurse if you need it uh, unfortunately, the capstones, similar to, like, Brewmaster Monk, I find, is, like, the capstones are just kind of horrendous if you don't play very specific builds in the, uh, spec tree. Or they're just designed for other specs, right? For the most part, the class rework for Guardian Druid is much better, outside of the fact that when you take it into account with the spec tree, I think the, it's kind of just, like, a net zero gain. Like, it's not a huge improvement, it's not a loss, it's just slightly reworked. If you're excited for the class tree, great. If you're not, like, understandably so. Uh, but let's shift over our focus over to the uh, spec tree. Now, similar thing here. We're going to have to play into Maul, into Survival Instincts, and into Gore, which is fine. Those are always baseline. Uh, they did remove Ursine's Adept, which used to be kind of like center, front and center right here. They removed it, so one free point to use. We'll still grab Brambles. We'll grab Innate Resolve because I still want to get to the left side of the tree. We'll grab Berserk Ravage. They did nerf Berserk Ravage. Instead of being able to spam Mangle or Thrash or Growl even inside of this window, we can now only, our rotation will become Thrash, Mangle, Thrash, Mangle, Thrash, Mangle. It'll be this rotation. You'll need to hit a certain haste break point unless you're playing Unchecked Aggression, which we'll get into in a second. But oh man, it's just like, this nerf feels really bad for things like Incarn. I wish Incarn like doubled the value of your Berserk nodes. I think that would be pretty dope. If they did that, they could probably also nerf Berserk Persistence if they wanted to. And then Incarn could be like all of the Berserk nodes are doubled and then you have the extra length or whatever. Not being able to spam Thrash feels bad because we've been able to do it for so long. Now, I will say this though, the rotation inside of Incarn with this new Berserk Ravage feels a little bit more fluid because I understand that sometimes people don't like to hit literally one button for 30 seconds. That doesn't feel great on any class or spec. You want to have some kind of nuance, some kind of fluidity to your rotation. I want to try to stay positive about Berserk Ravage getting nerfed, but it does feel weird at best. Uh, but we now have two points to spend still, so you can either play Mangle into Ursox. You can play Ursox or uh, Mangle, sorry, into Gory Fur, which can give you access to like after the wildfire towards the bottom. Or you can trade out Mangle for the a little loss in single target damage for the extra survival instinct charge if you'd like. We'll have extra points to come back up here if you if you'd like, but no need to. 
the center of the, the middle part of the tree, the middle section, the tier two is really strong. So for this example, let's play this build into gory fur because I kind of want to get down to having after the wildfire again. After the wildfire is just, it's a lot of overhealing, but it's a lot of healing in general. Plus with the new rage build that I'm thinking of, we're just going to be able to spend a lot of rage, which is just good, right? We need to figure out exactly what we want to get to down at the bottom of the tree. So for now, let's spend just nine more points to get to unlock the bottom area of the tree. Then we'll kind of work back and talk through some stuff. So let's just go double reinvigoration and then we'll go Earth Warden because Earth Warden is really strong in Mythic Plus with how much auto attack damage scales into higher keys. Uh, we now have a couple more points to spend. Ideally, we do want to work into the bottom half of the tree. So we either need to play into Fury of Nature and then to get down to Incarn, or we need to play through one of these Berserk nodes. So in this case, let's go Berserk Persistence. I do like the free Mangle or the free Maul proc, so let's grab Tooth and Claw again. We have two more points to spend at this point. We can grab either up here to have the increased duration on Iron Fur and Bark Skin, which with this build, getting to Ursax Endurance might be pretty good, but it also might be worthwhile to try to get to Layered Main as well to get more iron for stacks for more Thorns of Iron damage. So let's actually do that. Let's drop after the Wildfire, Mangle into Ursax Endurance into Layered Main twice. We actually wouldn't need to drop more than that. Let's actually get rid of our Vulnerable Flesh. The Reinforced Fur is going to give us more armor. And then we need to spend two more points here. So we can still probably take Persistence if we want, or we could play after the Wildfire again. And we just need to get probably just Unchecked Aggression, actually, at this point. So that'll give us access to Circle of Life and Death, Blood Frenzy for Rage. We'll have Incarn Cooldown Reduction. We'll have Elunes Favored which will basically just be a single target increase when we do Moonfire, but we'll have access to that. We get Thorns of Iron, and then we get Rage of the Sleeper with three points to spend. We could take Persistence if we like, uh, or we could play Double Flashing Claws into maybe, maybe Dream of Scenarius or Ursox Fury. If we play Dream of Scenarius, we'll have access to uh, Protector of the Pack, which will give us a better capstone here. Or we could play for just bigger shields Ursox Fury because we're playing Flashing Claws anyways, but... Flashing Claws and Ursox Fury loses a lot of value because of the nerf to Ravage. So this area of the tree, while it looks like it was buffed because of how things were moved around, it feels much weaker because we don't have the ability to spam Thrash inside of our Incarn window anymore. Now, Thorns of Iron does a fair bit of damage. I'm going to just apply these talents, and I'm going to try to show this off a little bit. So, like, if we look back at this training dummy segment, you can see Thorns of Iron. This isn't perfect. This isn't optimizing. This is just kind of hitting the dummy. I had a bunch of Lure errors popping up. You can see the Thorns of Iron procs a fair bit, and you can see how much it's hitting on. With a little timeline, the end is when I ran out trying to drop combat. So for the most part, whenever we did Iron Fur, we were getting a little bit of burst of damage there. The average hit was like 2k, with the max being 7k on the crits, right? 7k crits, normal average hit was like 2k. Really good natural, like just passive damage from just hitting Iron Fur, which is what I really like. But this was also running Galactic Guardian to allow us to have that Moonfire, right? So I only cast it eight times, but it hit 201 uh, because I was running Galactic Guardian. So it's like, it's such a weird trade-off now because we, it's really difficult to like get the things you want down here. And there's a lot of decision making, which I do like, but I also hate. So for example, you could drop Ursox Fury and you could drop Flashing Claws, which is going to drop a lot of damage on this side of the tree. But I would also, because we're not running, I don't know, it's like you would drop Unchecked Aggression, maybe pick up Persistence. This would allow you to play like more into the Arcane side of the tree, because if you want to you can get to galactic, galactic guardian damage for even more rage generation which might be helpful for thorns of iron but i don't know it's just thorns of iron being here feels really weird i think if they really wanted to do something about this i would move fury of nature down to maybe thorns of iron and i would move thorns of iron up to fury of nature or maybe even rage of the sleeper up because rage of the sleeper is just so valuable play into a loon's favorite again to get to incarn for cdr we'll play thorns of iron we now have two points again so we can maybe get twin moonfire here and we also get maybe Lunar Beam. Now, okay, so here's the thing about Lunar Beam. Is Lunar Beam was recently added back in this new tree. I think it's still really undertuned, but they did fix the aura. So if you come here, so Lunar Beam is going to be used at your location. Lunar Beam used to be maybe this big. It used to be really fucking tiny, but now when you use it, it's this giant fucking circle. And as long as you're standing in it, you're going to get healed. You'll see the heal pop up here, but I will say this. It's super fucking low. It's super undertuned. If you look, it does damage. It only does 13k damage over 8 seconds. It's such a small damage for a 1.3 minute CD. What I wish they would do is they would either lower the cooldown 
or it should like automatically apply moonfire to every target or it needs to do more damage or more healing or provide a dr or something or other there needs to be more with lunar beam to be a capstone talent because it's so fucking shit the the size is good the radius seems fine it used to be a really tiny like little eight yard circle now it seems more like i don't know 20 yard or whatever 15 doubled in size that's fine but lunar beam needs to be scaled up or cool needs to be scaled down or it has to have a cool effect because it needs to like apply a lot let it apply moonfire to shit you already have all these moonfire based arcane talents and you're making lunar beam just be this garbage talent I was an advocate for Lunar Beam. I love that it's back, but they need to rework it before the next patch. They need to buff it in some way. They didn't really change anything here. Okay, so they that's what they need to do, I think. That would be my biggest gripe. Not even my biggest gripe. It's one of my gripes. One of my many gripes with this tree is there's so many options down here, and it still seems a little disjointed. Like, Thorns of Iron out down here seems out of place, and same with Rage of the Sleeper and vice versa. I think Circle of Life and Death would make more sense over towards this side of the tree and let Blood Frenzy be separate. These two being right next to each other don't really make sense. To me, it doesn't, right? Because, like, dots are going to tick faster, and then you're gaining it every time you, it ticks, which, like, it is a cool synergy, but I think they could be separate. I think it would just make more sense being more towards the arcane side of the tree. I think they need to move, like, Rage of the Sleeper or Thorns of Iron to be a little bit more centralized, and I feel like there should be a connecting node from Fury of Nature down, because having to play into either these three nodes to get to Incarn feels kind of bad. Like, if you were able to play just into this one in the center... To get down that's fine but having to play through like these all either of these two to get to incarn feels weird and that's really it like fix lunar beam maybe shift these around a little bit i don't know i don't think they'll do any more shifting i think blizzard will be happy with this i think the last thing is like will bears be happy with this will guardian druids enjoy this play style no i think the change to berserk feels really bad to pair with incarn Incarn now feels really weak. Uh, you don't really have as many crazy cool options. Um, Lunar Beam is undertuned. Rage of the Sleeper is hard to get to without playing. Like, you're still being forced to play Arcane Talents, which feels bad. Like, there's Arcane Talents here that you have to play through, or you feel like you need to play through, despite not playing all the Arcane Talents. Or vice versa. Like, because they nerfed Berserk Ravage, all of this Thrash-based absorb dr shit is all nerfed as well because of the nerf to berserk ravage it feels really bad i think personally um i don't really have a like those are my suggestions is like move some of these around buff buff berserk or make incarn double the value of your berserk nodes so make it okay so if you take this it's 50 percent. if you take incarn now it's 100 percent. if you take unchecked aggression it's reduced cost by 15 percent, and maybe just do rage cost by 50 and then make it make it 50 when you have incarn active and same with this thing here cut these in half make it 50 percent reduction and 25 percent reduction and then when you have incarn it's all of a sudden 150 like persistence feels fine berserk feels ravage feels like shit and unchecked aggression feels like shit and then that in turn makes incarn feel like shit and then you still have to spend four points to get there so that th those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like these changes do you hate these changes sorry for all these errors that keep anyways um Bear is still just, they're trying to figure it out, and I'm. this is a better direction, but I don't think it's going to fix Bear. It's going to be a little bit of a learning curve, not hitting Thrash every global for half of the key, but it'll make the rotation feel a little bit better. Like, I'm trying to be positive about it, but I'll have to do more testing, but honestly, like, these errors coming in have made me kind of sad, getting spammed with errors the whole time. I also have to set up all my PTR stuff still, because I deleted my characters on PTR. Uh, which was stupid of me to do anyways, but I will have to play with this a little bit more But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm not I'm gonna just cut the rant here and uh, yeah Looking forward to reading through them. Hope you guys are all staying happy healthy and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace